Hello guys, welcome to Sergei's Chemistry. Today we're going to talk about iodine colors. Iodine is a gray-black solid, a little bit shiny, with a purple vapor which it can form above. Also, if you handle it, uh, it makes it can brown your skin or brown the paper, as you can see on this photo. If you store iodine, it exists in equilibrium with its vapor. Purple vapor would always be above it. And uh, here I just put a few minutes ago a few crystals of iodine at the bottom and now the gas above iodine in the test tube is already have a tinge of purple. If you heat up the test tube strongly, obviously it would sublime vigorously and the purple gas is produced, which is depositing on the walls of the test tube forming crystals. The gas is more dense than air, so you can pour it down if you wish. It's purple in color. As I say again, this is the color of separate molecules of iodine. Iodine is virtually non-soluble in water. As you can see here, I have a test tube with iodine crystals and an empty one for comparison. I put water in both. Above iodine, there is virtually no change in color. Only after vigorous shaking, you see that the water appears very, very pale brown or yellowish where iodine is. That's the result of slight reaction of iodine with water. But that it's not soluble is no surprise because water molecules are polar and iodine molecules are totally non-polar. A good solvent for iodine is ethanol. You see, on addition of ethanol, immediately a brown halo of dissolved iodine is appearing above the crystals. To understand why this happens, why ethanol is a good solvent, we can look at its structure. It has a ethyl group, which is nonpolar, which can accommodate nonpolar iodine molecules and write them piggyback into solutions. Iodine solution with ethanol is deep brown. There is another substance which can help dissolving iodine in water. Surprisingly, it's its own ions, iodides. For example, if I use solution of potassium iodide and add it in water where there are iodine crystals, iodine is nicely dissolving in it. Just 20 drops, you see 0.5 moles per cubic decimeter solution of potassium iodide is enough to dissolve iodine, making deep brown colored solution. Here are the colors. Again, you can see of pure water, iodine and water, iodine and ethanol, and uh, iodine and potassium iodide. Another good solvent, which one can easily think of, is any organic non-polar solvent, such as hexane. Here I'm adding hexane to iodine crystals in the test tube and immediately you see the purple halo of dissolved molecules above it. After shaking, it's getting deep purple color. What happens if I mix together solution of iodine in hexane and solution of iodine in potassium iodide solution? You see, hexane is less dense than water, so it hangs above. It's not soluble in water, so the layers don't mix. If I shake them up, bubbles of hexane, which it would form on shaking, would again rise up and settle into a purple layer. So you see it's getting a little bit more intense because iodine is a little bit significantly actually more soluble in hexane than in potassium iodide. If concentration of potassium iodide is diminished by means of oxidation, for example, virtually all iodine would travel into upper layer. This is the basis of solvent extraction technique. Here we have again collection of all colors which iodine can make in solution. Pure water in the first, iodine in water which is just pale yellow, two brown solutions in either ethanol or potassium iodide and then deep purple in hexane. There is another color which iodine can make. This is deep blue or even black, though it needs some help to do it. This help is coming from soluble starch. So here I have soluble starch dissolved and iodine and potassium iodide solution. I'm adding just a few drops and the deep blue color appears, which, is become, which looks almost black at the bottom of the test tube where the concentration is the highest. 
This can be used as a test for presence of starch or oppositely, it can be used to emphasize the presence of iodine in solution. We are close to the end and I am trying to emphasize the main points. Iodine is gray-black solid with purple vapor above. Especially insoluble in water, but soluble in potassium iodide solution or ethanol. Also in non-polar solvents such as hexane. It can be used as a test for starch or starch can be used to emphasize the end point of redox titration using iodine. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Please subscribe to the channel. Bye.